Ritual goes well with Song of Creation. Oh, you mean the, um... Uh, the Adventure Ritual. This thing? That card does go well with Song of Creation. It goes well with Bergy, too. I like it. Do we not want to be playing Beanstalk Giant? I was thinking Beanstalk Giant would be good to, like, ramp, and then you play Song and have mana to, like, play your things. So maybe it's bad. Sprite Dragon is the win con. That's an interesting idea. Let me read that card real quick. If you did like the adventure shell... With sprite dragons and what what? I don't know. Maybe your deck just wouldn't be that embarrassing. Uh, I don't think you can use Emery to flashback the artifact side of Bergy. I don't think that works. Could try something like this. Maybe I want to play more adventure creatures. If I'm playing Innkeeper, huh? Do we think the Giant is better? Someone early- I saw someone earlier playing Secret Keeper. It's a really efficient adventure creature for Innkeeper. If we cared about milling. If we, if we did want to play the, um... Uh, the two mana flashback stuff from your graveyard. Or we use Fae of Wishes as a win con. Do we wanna use Fae do we wanna put like a single song of creation in the sideboard? to Fae of Wishes for. Is that good or is that just like slow? Fae of Wishes is like clearly a good innkeeper card, which I kind of like. We're gonna be, obviously we haven't touched the mana base Draconis. Sound good here. Yeah, we've got eight free cards and a whole bunch of one mana cards. Oh, you're saying we're gonna get bottlenecked on non-red mana because Bergy creates red. I see what you're saying. Interesting. Yeah, how do we fix that? There's no red conversion, right? No red rituals. Richard the Veil is not a crazy one to play. In terms of like a mana sink for red cards. The world tree requires a lot of lands in play before it does anything. We're not going to play it here. Omen Path. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we do play this. Alright, I'm with you.
All right, what do we want Fave Wishes to grab? I think we want Fave Wishes to be able to grab the two main enchantment. What's that one called again? Let's put Omen Path on the sideboard. Man, people love mentioning Iron Craig feet. Ugin, we could put Nugan in there. Ugin's good at like answering random boards sometimes. Yeah, Breach, that's the name of the card. We can put like one Breach in the board maybe. And then like one in the main. We're at 71 cards. I'm guessing that with the addition of Open the Omen Paths, we're not gonna have room for this adventure package, which is just okay. We can cut a lot of those cards. You can't fade for Sprite Dragon. You can only fade for non-creature cards. Want Orrery in the board? I mean, we can play it. No reason not to, huh? We'll have some slots. You're bad? No, you're fine. Having, like, random draw spells. Oh, shit, what up? I don't know if Thrill counts. There's probably a better blue card. Maybe Omen's better than Thrill. Hey, Kochi Pack, thanks for the sub, thanks for three months. Do you want to have a counter spell for Fave Wishes to get? There's probably something better than a counter spell. If you want to be count if you want to be like a counter stag. Sweeper? Yeah, what's the the four damage card? Having one of those on the board makes sense. Yeah, the Wrath one. Yeah, let me get one of those in here. Storm's Wrath. Oh my god. Fuck you, sideboard! I just want to craft my cards! This bothers me seeing them all faded out. Uro is not a card that, I mean, we could play Uro. Isn't Uro banned? It's, it's not a card that you can tutor for with Fate of Wishes regardless. Yeah, I think escape's legal. Oh no, it's not. Escape, not legal. You like Sublime in the sideboard? I think Sublime's pretty narrow. Enchantments are artifacts we can pump man into for damage. I mean, that's the stone coil. You like Chandra? Which Chandra? This fucking thing? Being a Chandra, not in the four man. You're talking about the uncounterable one? Uh, I think. I'm not sure what seven mana card you're talking about, but we have Orrery here. Anyway, I'm gonna tweak some main deck cards real quick. Maybe this is good enough. Oh no, we're super short on cards. Hey, Death in Texas MDG, thanks for the sub, the tier two, the 56 months. Death says if you had to make a sandwich called the Kaldheim, what would you have on it? Hmm, good question. It'd be like a big tuna steak, shape in the shape of an axe head. In sandwich form. All right, what was I doing? Secret Keeper, Secret Keeper plays well with Bridge. I don't know if that means that we play it though.
Cut a crypt or two. Well, zero drops are really good with song creation. We could do that. We could just cut the zeros. No way this dex works. Well, we have 69 cards, so... <laughs> We're probably not submitting this as is, huh? But thanks for your vote of confidence. I think Fate of Wishes is going to be a Rincon. <clears throat> this Thassa's is Oracle. Makes sense, too. Makes sense to me. Ultimatum in the sideboard. I can get behind that. There is a regrowth effect in standard. Staple to a land, too. Mm, some three mana thing. I like the idea of playing Balagid Recovery just as a spell in this deck. Seems strong. We can maybe play the Ramp Creature as a spell land too. Gotta be careful with things only producing green and coming to play tap though. I think that's all I want. I don't think I don't think I want triumphs. Maybe I do. What do you folks think? Ways. We could also play Fabled Passage. This is 24 land, not counting Balakid Awakening and Balagid Recovery. not a field passage deck. This would be 16 red. Spot all right. The issue I have is like the triomes and the and like the dual lands all coming to play tapped. Might be too much. Might be too many cards coming to play tapped for the deck to function. The deck has more than one win con. There's you only want to play one Thassa's Oracle because you don't want to draw multiples of it, right? But you can get it back with Breach, and then we also have Breach and the sideboard to grab with it. 
And there's other win cons on the board here, right? And could potentially play like a fireball type card. And Green Mary Spell Land, what do you mean by that? What card are you talking about? There's a few. Hey Bale, is the sub, is the five months. I'm not looking to add another color right now, Booty though. Right now I'm looking to cut seven cards and get into some games. I'm not looking to play a completely different deck right now. That's not a useful suggestion. Well, the reason we're playing Triome isn't for the cycling. The reason we're playing Triome is because it taps for every color in the deck. It's just a better fixer than Temple Lands. If we cut the Triomes, we wouldn't add Temple Lands. We would add Basics and, like, maybe a couple Fabled Passage. Right, exactly. Three is more colors than two. We do have a lot of comes and play tap lands, though. Let's do the Fabled Passage thing. Just like two of them. And cut triumphs. And play like a couple more basics. And then we'll have fewer lands coming into play tapped, which I like. You like a Teferi's Tutelage in the board? I think it's gonna be hard to kill someone with Teferi's Tutelage, because we'll have already drawn through so many cards by the time we like play it. So I don't think it'll work. Extra passage on the wishboard. Can this even get a land? Non-creature card? Yeah, I guess. Not like that though. Foretell cards to restart the combo. We didn't really look at foretell cards now. We've got a, bu a bunch of adventure cards here that I think work better with Song of Creation. A lot of the foretell cards are pretty reactive. We could play the, the draw spell one, but even that one's like kind of clunky for, a, for an all-in combo deck. Costing two mana, you know? Maybe the text take an extra turn one is cute. Talking about Turn Timber. Symbiosis. Well, this one's not really a spell. Like, like it looks like a spell, but like we don't want to spend seven mana for like a Merchant of the Veil or whatever the fuck, right? And I think Balagid's Recovery is much better in this deck as a spell land. No new dragon? No. <laughs> no. I kind of want to cut Secret Keeper. The Secret Keeper is so much easier to cast with Keeper. I'm probably going to end up cutting some number of merchants. Maybe we go with them to like... Maybe we just cut Merchant entirely. It's not a very good card, Merchant of the Veil. It is a use for Bergy red mana, but... Try something like this. I do wish we had a better anti counter spell card to wish for. Oh boy. Yeah, nothing we can wish for, really. Foretell counter spell, I, I guess. I'm not even sure it's better than like having a negate, you know? The 
casting cost. It just shows a white. I'm gonna restart the client. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Seems like a good time to do that. <laughs> oh my god, if I didn't save there. A lot of folks talking about white being bad, but I don't know. The one white, white, two, two, exiles things. The card's great. What's the combo here? We play Bergy and Song and draw our whole deck, is the idea. So the combo. I don't think it's gonna be good. I, I called Bergy as like one of the better cards in the the set, but I was calling it for uh, for like historic and legacy. I wasn't really calling it for standard, but folks wanted to folks wanted to see it pop off, so we're giving it a shot here, giving it a fair shake. Why not? I might want four Fae of Wishes. Oh, also we don't have a full sideboard. Do this now. <laughs> I don't think I said that either, pretty Tony. Although, um, yeah, I don't think I talked about Bergy and Limited much at all, but I think it's good in Limited. In Limited, you've got a 3 mana 3 3 that interacts well with your boast abilities, and then it's also a draw engine in a slower game. So I think Bergy is a, a high pick and limited for sure. Once in future, what does that do? Yeah. Whatever. The vehicle for blockers? Yeah, probably not. We we'll probably have that covered with Storm's Wrath. We could just throw like a random burn spell in there. There's no fireball, right? You know, let's throw Shadow Skull in the sideboard. Explosion, I don't think is in, in standard. Hey, Tony Goodberger, thanks for the sub. It's the 14 months. in there. Primal Might, almost a fireball. Yeah, I could see one in Primal Might. You know what? I'm at it. I don't even want to do for Royal Scions. Fucking never. Let's see if we can get this deck to work at all. I'm skeptical. <laughs> Pickle me a skeptic. the idea of turn one, mill myself four. Actually, let's lead on recovery. Well, 
Yeah, no, let's let's do the let's turn one mill myself for him. Nice, we milled a song, so now the uh, the recovery can rebuy a song. Next turn, we're just gonna go Innkeeper plus Secret Keeper and draw a card. Revoke Secret Keeper, a little bit less embarrassing. Could just be recovering Max Song right now. I kind of like making them deal with my shit. Kind of with Dan, these are the solving of 45 months. Yeah, happy Viking set. I agree. Um, I actually tested this deck with Lucky Clover uh, beforehand. And I didn't think he was very good. <laughs> hmm. I'm thinking if I want to tutor with Fae of Wishes or what I would even grab with the search. I might just cast Acolyte. Draws a lot. Oh, not having green here for a Rose Thorn is pretty bad. Hmm. I guess if I tutored with Fey, I would have gotten Breach. I don't know.
my cards, my beautiful cards. <laughs> the bridging over there. Yeah, I want to tap all my red mana. Honestly, open the Omen Paths is kind of sweet. Maybe I want that over Underworld Breach. Oh my god, I don't have time to combo. So I'd have two mana floating. You know, let's draw cards. Isn't it using my mana? Is this starred mana? Can I only use this mana for something? Only creatures or enchantments. Oh, that's a good reason. Well, fuck me. That ritual is a lot worse than I thought it was. done. They're like, You're, we're done, we're done, we're done here. Plus one, plus zero for the win. Well, I'm not trying to fucking attack for the win, I'm trying to combo. I'm trying to see if the, the, the combo in the deck works. Yeah, so so I do like this card in terms it can like let us play out creatures. But I think three might be too many. I think I might like like want one like one or two, right? The fact that it doesn't let me cast granted is a pretty big bummer. Standard song deck, yeah. Well, there's one in the sideboard already. The open omen paths. I just want to like cut one or two, knowing that it doesn't actually work with what we're doing. Before breach into Oracle. Well, omen paths doesn't let doesn't give you mana for breach. Or I guess it does. 
Only to cast creature enchantment spells. Yeah. I guess that works. Let's cut one omen and then just like add another breach into the main deck. And then we'll just draw a breach naturally more often. We won't have to tutor for it every time. Or maybe I'm supposed to play all three omens and all three breaches and just cut like some other fucking card. I think we can try this though. Oracle's one win con, yeah. Ide ideally, that's the, the main win con. Well, it's not a matter of giving things trample stress, it's a matter of crash through being castable off of uh, Bergy mana. We're gonna have like an excess of red mana a lot of the times when we're comboing. And we are going to be very tight on blue mana, so that's why we're not playing Opt. This is standard. Historic's not on the thing. Fave Wishes down to one copy. I think if you cut Fave Wishes down too much, then you should just, like, change the deck a lot, huh? Like, cut this Secret Keeper card. Secret Keeper is good with Breach, though. But at a certain point, I think you're supposed to cut the, uh... The adventure package. Clicks from the new set any good? I think it is, yeah. I think it is good. Tybalt's trickering me. <laughs> now they're Tybalt's trickering their own Tybalt's trickery. Okay. Surprise! Elder Gargaroth. Sure. I think they were trying to cheese an Ugin there. hit a land drop. Song gives you an extra land drop. If we hit a land drop there, then you can cast Omen. And if you cast Omen, then um, you have mana, blue mana to play our hand out and potentially find a win somewhere. Hmm. 
first time playing this Hornfell card. Let's play Breach, right? There's not enough time to combo! like one more fancy mana. Gotta be sure not to click this Thassa, huh? This is much faster than trying to fucking combo normal, like, a lot more possible. Also, fills up my graveyard for the, the Breach, too. Oh, this texts me though. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, huh? Yeah, I discarded one too many times. Forgot about the song trigger. Oh, it's not a mistake that you make every time, huh? <laughs> Maybe a mistake you make exactly once. Hmm. The clock pressure. Clock pressure got to me. Flew too close to the sun. Yeah, a little too close. A little too. Scorched the old wings. Well, at least we figured out that the deck could hypothetically win if the opponent doesn't do anything ever and you don't deck yourself for no reason. Hypothetically. Exile with the trigger on the stack. You could do that. The issue with doing that, like doing, trying to like do the Oracle trigger on the stack, is then you have to like hold control and do control shenanigans and stuff. It seems kind of obnoxious. All I had to do was like not play my last card, right? Would have been fine. Hey, big iron scruff. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the twenty-one months.
Like, I didn't have time to mess around with holding priority. You could say, like, should've, would've, whatever, but... I literally had burned through two timeouts and had... Fucking half of a... Half of a rope left. So holding priority to try and stack things or whatever. Maybe not in the cards there, huh? Does this mean we lose if the Oracle is in the bottom two? Maybe. Oh man, we got that day nine raid. Day nine, emerging victorious in our head to head. Still showing up to give me the viewers. Thanks, Day9. Hope you had a good stream. Hope you enjoyed the new cards. GG! Yeah, hello, folks. You had a great time? Awesome. Awesome. I'm sure, I'm sure everybody that's watching me is already familiar with the great Day9, but... If you are not following him yet, you absolutely should be. A dreamboat of a content creator, the full package. Oh, are we just like song binning here? I think so. I think that's the plan. What's this? Alright, your turn. <laughs> If we wanted to, we could set up a little bit better and just like cast some adventure things. I think getting the song down as soon as possible makes sense to me. Wish for a land. Yeah, we could have done that. Just wish for a land here. going up on YouTube? You better believe they're going up on YouTube. Crash through. Because zero mana draw three here is like kind of messed up. down. We can almost do that. Maybe that merchant bid in the edge wall, because that's mana neutral. God, I guess we don't even have to loot if we don't want to. Find a zero. Oh shit, or that one. Fuck, but now we don't have a green. Yeah, I guess I should have just like done the secret keeper thing first. I thought I needed a zero specifically to get the other half of Bergy down. I was wrong. Well, we can keep going. I feel bad for my opponents. <laughs> so patient, sitting here through all this nonsense.
with 23 cards left. get us to our blue mana for Oracle. We have 17 cards left. Used all my things. Used all my time. Yeah, I think we could win with uh, Oracle Trigger on the stack, Valakut Awakening in their hand or whatever. The issue is that... There's just not enough time here, right? Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, the win's here. Like if I was in if I was playing on the board, I could literally just like point and be like, look, I'm gonna Oracle. I'm gonna cast the damn Oracle and with the trigger on the stack, I'm gonna play this Valakut Awakening and draw my whole deck. But with the clock, I can't do that. It's like, no, you have to fucking click the shit. You can't just like say you're gonna win. It was a little obnoxious. Let's see, we have 14 cards left. I don't even know if we have a win left in the deck. We need a Breach or a way to tutor for Breach to get the Oracle back, because now we've discarded it. I'm sure if you played the deck a lot, too, you would just, like, get better with it. Just like the animations taking up time is obnoxious. four cards left, then that means we lose. Bummer. <clears throat> yeah, I had the win last turn. Didn't have the time. Deck's probably easier to play on Moto. Yeah, I would imagine so. Because, like, you're not using most of your clock on the majority of your turns, right? You're just, like, land, go, land, go. And then on your combo turn, you need to use, like, all of your clock. So having three ropes, like, doesn't really do it for you. Even if you've saved up. Even if you've saved up your turns. Even if you've saved up your, your time. Hey, Rageous H. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 20 months there. Glad you're enjoying the content. If we added Teferi's tutelage down, we would have won? Sure. So? What's your point? You don't want to just, like, fill fill your deck with bad cards if you can avoid it. That's not how you should build your, your combo decks. What if we added an unnecessary step to the combo? Yep. What if... Shit, what up? 
Oh shit, what up? Hey, Chipper is Sheka. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for 29 months there. is a little awkward because we don't have any of our combo pieces naturally. We don't have Bergy or Song. We're gonna have to spend a turn tutoring for Song. Not have the animations count against your clock. Yeah. It'll yeah, certainly be better. Well, that's cute. It's a cute use of the, um... The funeral mana. Can't be worried, like, there's no use for the funeral. They were, they, they, I got talked out of testing this card, and now I feel silly, because that was amazing. I almost want to get Storm's Wrath, but it doesn't even kill anything, right? It doesn't kill their 5 5 dragon. Let's get Song. We'll try and do something next turn. Try and get something to work. Got me. Brutal. Brutal stuff. Well met, opponent. Opponent didn't want to watch me fucking dirtle for five minutes and then fail to win. <laughs> They're just like, nope! Cutting you off! Think of Kaldheim so far. There's some sweet ones. There's some sweet ones for sure. Oh, shit, what up? I think I've had the most fun with a uh, with a Yorin Sultai deck. It was doing some really cool things that we tested earlier on in the stream. I might go back and test some of that Absent Tokens deck some more. We only really popped off with it once. Hey, Jay Sojourner, thanks for the sub. Thanks for 41 months. Hmm, I suppose we keep, huh? The mana's not here all the way. I might even like lead on crash through. Just cantrip. I have not tried the trickery combo, nor nor do I expect to. <laughs> Trying to cheese. Trying to cheese out a uh, Ugin on turn two or whatever. I don't know. Seems seems a might high variance. Surprisingly close to a 50-50 win rate. I think that's probably about the ceiling, huh? Probably about the ceiling of what you're trying to do. Oh man, are we playing a mirror? Should I be playing Gigantha? Is that a is that a misplay on my part? Yeah, there's a lot of removal spells that just answer Ugin, right? One of the better cards from the new set is the the two green black enchantment that is like pops permanent. And then it's ECD and stuff. I guess you're ulting Ugin before ECD happens. But does ulting Ugin even do anything in your deck? If your whole deck is based around cheating Ugin into play? I don't know. Yeah, it really looks like we're playing a some kind of a mirror match here.
deck might want more zeros in it. Like, no reason to play this Serpent, right? I guess it would set us up for a future Breach better. Just get, like, even more cards in the graveyard. Alright, we done. Cool thing about this mill is that we didn't mill any Burgies there. Run all the Tormods. Yeah, right? Yeah, maybe we do want to play all the Tormods and stuff. I like having Innkeeper here just in case, like, the opponent has any disruption at all and we have to actually cast our adventure creatures. But maybe they're just not necessary. Breach plus one Thassas. Well, the we're playing the adventure creature that tutors from the sideboard. We have three Fae of Wishes, so Fae of Wishes can also get Breach from the board. So it's two Breach and a Thassas, but then it's also three Fae of Wishes. So it's like it's like we have six Oracles in here. Is one way to think about it. Which should be plenty, right? Kite Beast is interesting. I was not expecting this aggressive turn. Embercleave here would have been hilarious. Yeah, Tormod script is legal in the format. I'm just going to do this. cards this turn. Oh, that's, uh, that adds some pressure, huh?
eight cards left. Five cards left. I feel like I needed to be able to play the storm card here. The one that generates mana or whatever. Let's go ahead and discard a card. And we didn't find it. We only have three cards remaining, so I guess we lose here, huh? Fuck! I would lose. Yeah, that could be a reason to play a second pass as Oracle. Play that specifically. Why do we lose? Because our Oracle gets exiled. What do you mean why do we lose? We have like three cards left in our library. How are we gonna make blue bloom? We have a... We have two ways of making blue blue. The the easiest is open the omen paths that can get us blue mana, but then the world breach could also flashback open the omen paths if we found breach earlier. I think we might have turned through all of those cards earlier though. It just might not have been an option that turn. More omen. Yeah, the issue with omen is that you can't play spells off of it, but we also have one in the sideboard for Fate Wishes to grab. Could play another Omen. Could play another Thassa's Oracle. I think either either do something similar. Just having Breach more often is good too. Yeah, more zeros. More combo -y. I'm kind of getting sick of playing this deck. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. One issue is with, with oming, at, at upping the count of omen, the, up, op, blah, 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 open the omen paths. One of the issues with upping the count of it and playing more zeros is that the omen only works if you're playing creatures or enchantments off of it. So if you play more open the omen paths, you can't chain them into each other if you draw multiples. Is the issue with this card. Which is what happened like one of the first times that we played the deck, is we had more of them. We drew like a bunch of them in a row, and it was like really hard for us to keep comboing. Oh shit, what up? Oh, shit, what up? Hey, I'm Rackham, thanks to the sub, thanks for nine months. And that hired goon, thanks to the resub, thanks to the six months there. Hooray for new brew day. Yeah, hooray indeed. Anyway, 